My name is Ira. I am a 22-year-old writer and activist, and I'm also a femme, genderqueer, trans guy. My identity is really, it's really fluid, and I'm not a big fan of masculinity. But before I came out as trans and before I medically transitioned, my, my expression in femininity didn't feel right. Um, and then after I started hormones, I subscribed to this hyper-masculine behavioral set, and that didn't feel right either. <laughs> um, and so it's taken me about two years, but I seem to have found my flow by now. Um, and my comfortable form of gender expression. I wish, I wish that people knew that all trans people are different. Um, just like anyone who's not trans is also different from the next person who's not trans. Um, the media often portrays us as all taking part in this singular narrative. Um, and it usually looks like this person knew their entire life. They took part in gender-bending activities when they were in their infancy. Um, or like in the case of trans men, they started binding as soon as they hit puberty. Um, and these stories usually end with extreme conflicts. Um, and the media usually details the violence in such a way that would never be done with people who aren't trans. And while giving out these abhorrent details, um, they usually misgender us in the process. Now, it's no secret that trans people are often victims of violence, and I don't think that we should hide it either. But I think that we should show people that we Two, trans people too are capable of joyous experiences. Um, I never, I never got the chance to come out to my family. I got caught making out with a girl outside of my house the night before Thanksgiving in 2009, and um, my sister caught me and my mom left me a voicemail telling me I was never allowed home again. And that was tough. That literally turned my life upside down and resulted in me being in a different state than where I grew up. That being said, the trans community is really just that. It's a community. And without the wonderful people that I've met along the way, um, since having been disowned, since coming out as trans, since moving to a different state, I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't be where I am today and my life would look exponentially different. And if you, if you had told me that I would have had surgery and I would have been on testosterone for 20 months, if you had told me that when I first came out as trans, I wouldn't have believed you at all. Um, but I have a wonderful community of people to thank, of people who I don't even know if I could consider mo most, most of them my friends, but, but we prosper and we, and we take care of each other despite our differences and despite our hardships because we know that, that in today's society we're still marginalized. And so I guess in that sense we have each other's backs. And I wish that people could see that side of trans people, the trans community, that we're rad. <laughs> trans people are awesome. And I am and I'm so grateful to be a part of it.